I spent about 25 years doing medical research, um, mostly at uh, University of California, San Diego, Barrow Neurological Institute, um, and Arizona State, places like that. I, I saw that there was a really need to enhance the sciences, so I started developing hands-on science programs. Um, I got a few grants to teach them in the community, and I realized how much I love teaching. She realized that she needed to do more than volunteer to really make a difference, so then she went into teaching full-time, and now we're really lucky to have her here. She is so excited about biology that students, they, um, they feel that enthusiasm, and they want to learn about biology as well. She teaches Science Bowl, um, or coaches Science Bowl, so she gets students interested in competing in science, something they never expected. She always includes um, things that you can relate to. She has lots of models and she does lots of labs with us, but she does a lot of hands-on things and she brings stuff like from her own home for us to use. It's not kind of lecturing and you need to be accountable for this material. They want to share kind of in this subject of biology because Sherry Jordan makes it so engaging. We're really just putting biology in their hands. I think every student learns best that way. Uh, I do all other forms of teaching, but I think that's just the best way that students learn. And they love it. She is great. She makes models and is willing to loan her own personal stuff out. My husband's a paramedic firefighter, so I'll grab him and I'll say, let's go out there and build an arm model and show how muscles and bones work together. And so he helps me a lot build it, build the models because it helps. It helps, it helps inspire kids, it helps them learn. Um, it's fun, the kids love it. For all the reasons that, you know, I, I just love to see the kids learn. Schools gave me an opportunity really to follow what I consider to be a dream because having my own classroom, teaching my passion, teaching what I love more than anything in this world. Um, so yeah, this is, that's my story.